Perpetuity, Wikipedia article audio. A perpetuity is an annuity that has no end, or a stream of cash payments that continues forever. There are few actual perpetuities in existence. For example, the United Kingdom government issued them in the past, these were known as consuls and were all finally redeemed in 2015. Real estate and preferred stock are among some types of investments that affect the results of a perpetuity, and prices can be established using techniques for valuing a perpetuity. Perpetuities are but one of the time value of money methods for valuing financial assets. Perpetuities are a form of ordinary annuities. Detailed Description the concept is closely linked to terminal value and terminal growth rate in valuation. A perpetuity is an annuity in which the periodic payments begin on a fixed date and continue indefinitely. It is sometimes referred to as a perpetual annuity. Fixed coupon payments on permanently invested sums of money are prime examples of perpetuities. Scholarships paid perpetually from an endowment fit the definition of perpetuity. Real-life examples The value of the perpetuity is finite because receipts that are anticipated far in the future have extremely low present value. Unlike a typical bond, because the principal is never repaid, there is no present value for the principal. Assuming that payments begin at the end of the current period, the price of a perpetuity is simply the coupon amount over the appropriate discount rate or yield, that is. Where PV equals present value of the perpetuity, A equals the amount of the periodic payment, and R equals yield, discount rate or interest rate. To give a numerical example, a 3% UK government war loan will trade at 50 pence per pound in a yield environment of 6%, while at 3% yield it is trading at PAR. That is, if the face value of the loan is £100 and the annual payment £3, the value of the loan is £50 when market interest rates are 6%, and £100 when they are 3%. For example, UK government bonds, called consuls, were undated and irredeemable except by Act of Parliament, paid fixed coupons, and traded actively in the bond market until the government redeemed them in 2015. Very long-dated bonds have financial characteristics that can appeal to some investors and in some circumstances, e.g. long-dated bonds have prices that change rapidly when yields change in the financial markets. A more current example is the convention used in real estate finance for valuing real estate with a capitalization rate. Using a cap rate, the value of a particular real estate asset is either the net income or the net cash flow of the property, divided by the cap rate. Effectively, the use of a cap rate to value a piece of real estate assumes that the current income from the property continues in perpetuity. Underlying this valuation is the assumption that rents will rise at the same rate as inflation. Although the property may be sold in future, the assumption is that other investors will apply the same valuation approach to the property. Another example is the constant growth dividend discount model for the valuation of the common stock of a corporation, which assumes that the market price per share is equal to the discounted stream of all future dividends, which is assumed to be perpetual. If the discount rate for stocks with this level of systematic risk is 12.50%, then a constant perpetuity of per dollar of dividend income is $8. However, if the future dividends represent a perpetuity increasing at 5.00% per year, then the dividend discount model, in effect, 
subtracts 5.00% off the discount rate of 12.50% for 7.50% implying that the price per dollar of income is $13.33.